Hi guys and dolls, how are you? I hope you are well. Okay, so today we're going to talk about how does a nurse, narcissist withdraw from you so quickly. Okay? And for them it's easy. Alright? First I want to talk to you about the malignant narcissist I was with and you know I dumped him in August and um, he had put me after acting like a total horse's ass he decided to stonewall me for a week and I wasn't gonna allow that to happen so after um, sorry I'm right in the middle of something so bear with me <laughs> You know, before the week was over, I basically dumped him. He was getting a little too big for his britches, is what was wrong with him. Which is typical of narcissists. Their power gets to their head, or their perceived power gets to their head. And before you know it, they're just acting all kinds of ignorant, with no qualms about it. And it's at that point that we have to snatch our power back and let them know through no uncertain terms, we're done. And that's what I did. I dumped his little dumb ass. So, each narcissist does things differently. They don't all have the same MO. His MO was pretty lame. <laughs> okay. First of all, in the meetup group, he used this premise of Missouri singles. And he had this romantic background with a, cu a couple you know, together and all this other bullshit because he was really harping on romance and matching people up and all this other. But the real reality was he cannot get women. And he's not attractive. He's not. I was hoping his personality would outshine everything else, but it didn't. Um, he was using his meetup group to try to meet women. And it doesn't matter if another guy likes somebody. If he finds that out, he'll swoop in and try to take that person from the other guy. Which I've already witnessed, and so did other people witness. Okay? Wow, really? Um, so some people, you know, everybody has their own quirks. Everybody has their weird little quirk thing that they're into. And some people are into anime. Some people are addicted to anime. I'm not addicted to it. But some people are. And I don't knock them for that. If that's what you're into, that's what you're into. Uh, Hippie was not into that. He was into Robin Hood. All right. He tried to come off like he was, re you know, related to him. And he believes like he does. And, you know, steal from the rich. You give to the poor. And swoop in and save the the underdog and all this other and if you do research on Robin Hood you would find out that Robin Hood was a fictional character there were some um, criminals that used the name Robin Hood because they didn't want to use their real name there was also a person who they believe was Robin Hood and if he actually was Robin Hood he was an outlaw because he stole money from the church. So there goes that. He was trying to pull me into that. Um, another thing that he tried to pull me into was he's a Saxon. He believes in his head that he's a Saxon. And Robin Hood is a Saxon. Anyway, uh, Saxons believe in love. Romance is the most powerful force, not love, but romance is the most powerful force. Um, if a relationship ends, the, the Saxon believes that it's always the man's fault, regardless of how it went down. And, you know, the, it's a man's responsibility to keep it together and keep a foundation under the relationship. And it was all a ploy. It was all a sales pitch to 1000% misrepresent who he is, which is what narcs do. They put on the costume, they are the fake person, and this is the person that they want you to get att um, attracted to, this is the person that they want you to fall for, but that is not really who they are. They are, in reality, the wizard behind the curtain, 
if you all remember the Wizard of Oz, there was this big foreboding wizard behind the curtain. And then to find out later, if I'm not mistaken, it was some little old man or something, you know, but he, he's perpetrating this front that I am the Wizard of Oz and I am a force to be reckoned with. And behind the curtain, it's all bullshit. Well, that's typical of narcissists. What you see is not real. It's all a facade. You ever see... Um, Animal shows where the male bird does all these dances for the female and he struts around and he does this with his feathers and he does all kinds of cartwheels, not literally cartwheels, but he does all kinds of showing off to attract the female. It's kind of hilarious because I've seen that happen and the female will watch him do everything and she's like doing this number and then she's like, that's cool and she flies away. <laughs> She's got the right idea, okay? Because that might all be a front. Okay? Please. Anyway. Um, and, and I also have, and I'm going to use it as a thumbnail, um, love has not a god dang thing to do with romance. Romance ain't shit. Romance is you setting the stage so you can stick your weenie in the tunnel. That's what the fuck that is. That doesn't have anything to do with love. It doesn't have to do with um, your commitment to each other. That's just setting the stage so you could get laid. All right? Love, real love, ain't got shit to do with romance. Real love is, I got your back. We're committed to each other. We got our each other's back through thick and thin. Um, I will love you to the ends of the earth. And every day that I know you, I love you more than the day before. That's what love is, not freaking romance. Anyway, which was also another ploy that he used. Um, the reason why they can dump you so easily is because they are dead inside. They cannot form an attachment to you. That's the reason they have to be a salesperson. I'm this, I'm that. I laugh at all your jokes. <laughs> <laughs> and you know women will do the same bullshit um, they do whatever they think is going to work to pull you in pull 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 you in and then once they think that you're pulled in they get overconfident that overconfidence leads to their typical arrogance and then they feel like they could show all their ass because you got suckered in by the costume they never were attached to you. They cannot be attached to you. They, and some of them might be able to have feelings, but the hippie can't. He's completely dead, except for when it comes to his needs and, and wants. But um, if the most intense love is a 10 on a 10 scale for a narcissist, it's probably a 3 on a 10 scale, but it depends on the narcissist, be narcissist because there's different degrees of narcissism, okay? They never formed an attachment to you in the first place. They have anxious, avoidant attachment style. Since they were young, they learned how to be self-reliant as possible because of neglect or overindulgence. That will cause narcissism on a child as well. And um, this, this withdrawal, because they're not getting their emotional needs met, this withdrawal, if they're a broken narcissist, it creeps into their adulthood and they cannot sustain a relationship with anyone. Yes, they could get married. Yes, they can have kids, but they're not attached. They're not. They're just going through the mo, mo you know, through the motions. Can't talk today. They're going through the motions a lot of times to impress the public. I have a nice job. I have a nice house. I have a nice car and I'm married. So somebody likes me. I've got my personal life under control. And what you don't know and what other people don't know is that person could be potentially very, very sick in their head. But when you look at the external, looks like they got it going on. And that's a facade. If the person's a narc, it's a facade. Um, so they have anxious, avoidant attachment style. Um, they just cannot attached to people they just can't incapable okay the so-called loving gestures are a form of manipulation the fake love that they give is to get you deeply ensnared so they can continue to re receive supply admiration towards them they're so grandiose in their minds 
and you are an object to be used. We talked about that before. You are no better than a toaster, a toaster oven, a microwave, vacuum cleaner, steam cleaner. That's what you are. You are a machine to be used. You're not a person with feelings. You are a machine to them. You are an appliance to them. Okay? There's a wall between you and them from the start. Regardless of the phony BS they show in the beginning. Okay? They don't care about anyone or anything that has no benefit to them. Okay? If you don't have a benefit to them, you are useless. They treat us like an appliance, like I said. Narcs are. Okay? Get ready. Vain. Hippie's in love with his hair. In love with his hair. Too bad he can't love a person the way he loves his hair. All right? They're vain, arrogant, sneaky. We saw examples of him being sneaky and unable to give love. They love objects, not people. They love money and use people instead of loving people and using money. I'm going to repeat that because that is so deep. They love money and use people instead of loving people and using money. All right. We, the first time I met him on a hike, we went, you know, for his pathetic meetup group that collapsed by the way which I think is pretty funny that's what you get you son of a bitch anyway walking in the woods and was doing this number with his hair while he's walking through the woods who the fuck is worried about how they look in the woods there's dirt grit grime you know the, the, the forest is beautiful but it's not a sterile environment but he's tossing his hair back I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. Yes, you appear vain, but I still want to see if that's just another quirk that you have or if that's truly you. That's truly him. He's in love with his hair. All right. An example of loving money and using people. His, his parents have paid all his bills. They probably bought the house his funky behind is living in. Bought the, you know, like I told you, paid for everything. All his remodel and his house and everything else. Paid for his silly ass tr car that he drives. And the, what, he had it for three years, but he sits here and talks to you like he just got it today. Look at all the bells and whistles. Look at all the, it's got computer this and computer that. And the high beams automatically adjust so you don't have to adjust them yourself when a car is coming down a road, you know. And, and look at all, I just love the bells and whistles. This motherfucker is acting like he just bought this car yesterday. First of all, he didn't buy it. His parents did. He ain't got no money. He ain't got shit. The parents paid for it, but hear him tell it. He just got it. You know how you just get a car and you're higher than a kite. Oh my God, I didn't know it did this. I didn't know it did this. I got to figure out how this car operates. Let me look at the manual. He's acting like he just got it today. If he would put that excitement into human beings, he wouldn't be as sick and as demented as he is. But I have to say, I'm grateful for the nightmare when I dealt with him because it's a perfect case study of what to avoid. It's a perfect case study of what to avoid. And how dramatic they are with how fucking phony they are. My God, could you be any phonier than you are? Really? So he's a perfect case study. Perfect. He gives us multiple examples of the extent of how damaged his brain is. So, you know, don't think that because somebody bought you an expensive ring, don't think because somebody married you, this is another thing. Don't think because they... they married you and had children with you and they were with you for 20 years that they actually love you that is called going through the motions if something is wrong with that person if they are personality disordered it doesn't matter how far they go with this it's all a facade 
And in the public, they're like, this is my beautiful wife, Tiffany. This is my beautiful kid. This is our beautiful doggy. And this is our beautiful home. And I have a beautiful job. And our whole life is beautiful. And then behind closed doors, he's abusive to his wife or neglectful. Or the wife is abusive to her husband. Because as I told you before, this is not gender specific. So the energy that they put out perpetrating fake, 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 fake. It, there's no limit to how far that energy will go because they're desperate for the public to think that they're wonderful. They're desperate to put on that costume, the Halloween costume, but they wear it every single day of the year. All right. They're desperate for you to be impressed with the glitter that they're throwing at you. And it's all a smoke screen. And when they start showing their ass and they will give it time, be patient, be patient. They do show their ass. They do show that they don't give a rat's ass about your needs. It's inevitable. You just have to be patient and sit it out and wait. Don't rush nothing. Take your time. Because the phoniness and the pissy attitude and all of that, regardless of, oh, always be positive. Right. He talked badly about a girl, a chick that was part of our group. That had a crush on him. Why she had a crush on him, I don't know. She thought he was just amazing. Little does he know, he told somebody else in the group that she looked like she was 10 years older than what she was. So much for being positive all the time. You phony fuck. Anyway, y'all take care. I love you.